Hello everyone and welcome to the latest Tempo Storm Wild Meta Snapshot Breakdown for the Descent of Dragons meta. Mage reigns supreme in the wake of Galakrond's Awakening, with three different mage decks setting up shop in Tier 1. Reno Quest Mage might be the deck to beat, but now it has a target on its head and Warlock, Shaman, Warrior, and Paladin are all taking aim. Just how is the meta adjusting to the continued dominance of Open the Waygate? Let's join our wild experts and take a closer look at the format's latest developments. As always, always, be sure to subscribe to the Tempo Storm Hearthstone YouTube channel to stay up to date with our Hearthstone content. Now let's get started. Reno Quest Mage is at the top of our tier list for yet another snapshot thanks to the power and flexibility of the deck's Highlander Suite and its ability to consistently build an OTK with Open the Waygate. Since the quest is usually completed before turn 9, Reno Quest Mage can play Time Warp with Archmage Vargith to gain two extra turns in a row and win in those turns one way or another. With this consistent turn 9 kill, Reno Mage forces scores of slower decks out of the meta, but with the rest of the format gunning against it, it might not stay in the top spot for much longer. While Reno Mage still dominates Cube Warlock and Secret Mage, Galakrond Warrior and Cyclone Quest Mage are strong against Reno, and both decks are becoming more and more popular. Speaking of Cyclone Quest Mage, the traditional combo Quest Mage joins Tier 1 for the first time since its heyday in the Rise of Shadows meta, largely thanks to its amazing matchups against both Reno Quest Mage and Cube Warlock. Quest Mage's critical mass combos with Flame Waker and OTK Finisher with Time Warp and Giants are difficult for any slow deck to interact with, which is yet another force that keeps traditional control decks from gaining much traction in Wild. While Quest Mage can struggle against faster aggro decks like Galakrond Warrior and Secret Mage, a clever player can still set up a winning position with a big Flame Waker turn. Secret Mage rounds out the Tier 1 Mage Trifecta, and while it might not be as popular as it used to be, it's still just as relevant. Unlike the Quest Mage decks, Secret Mage is particularly strong against aggro decks like Even Shaman and Odd Paladin, thanks to Arcane Flak Mage and Flame Ward, while also being strong against Darkest Hour Warlock and Cyclone Quest Mage, thanks to its disruptive secrets and over-the-top damage. Between these three top-tier mage decks, it's more difficult than ever to anticipate what you're playing against when you queue into Mage, which makes the class uniquely hard to fully counter. Even though Mage is the top dog, most of the other classes are still capable of holding their own. Warlock alone is almost as popular as Mage, and Cube Warlock is the class's shining star. Cube leverages the power of the Voidcaller Demon Engine with Skull of the Minari to either mount a relentless offense with Doomguard and Mal'Ganis, or build an unbreakable defense with Voidlord. Add in Warlock's world-class removal, and Cube Warlock is among the most flexible decks in the format. Cube has an edge against aggro decks like Secret Mage and even Shaman, and while it might not have the best matchups against Quest Mages, it has a positive matchup spread against the rest of the meta at large. Rounding out our Tier 1, we have even Shaman holding strong as the format's premier aggro deck. Even Shaman's strong boards and consistent pressure are difficult for Quest Mages to deal with, and its board control prowess backed up by Devolve give even Shaman a strong matchup against Paladins and other aggro decks. While even Shaman seems like a strong counter pick in a quest-heavy meta, it still has a rough time against Secret Mages and Cube Warlock, both of which have the consistent removal needed to keep Even Shaman in check. While we have five decks in Tier 1, our Tier 2 spread is narrowing since many historically strong decks have rough matchups against the combined menace of Mage and Warlock. Of the Tier 2 decks remaining, Galakrond Warrior is making a name for itself as a solid mage counter, with dominating matchups against the Quest Mage decks and an even matchup against Secret Mage. While Galakrond Warrior Warrior's stellar early game pressure makes it a solid pick against Mage, it's not as solid against Cube Warlock thanks to Warlock's defensive prowess with cards like Plague of Flames and Void Lord. In fact, dedicated defensive decks like Jade Druid will also give Galakrond a run for its money, but with the popularity of dedicated control decks at an all-time low, the time is ripe for Galakrond Warrior to make its mark. Odd Paladin is another solid anti-mage option in Tier 2, boasting a solid matchup against both Reno and Cyclone Quest Mage. Odd Paladin fits in a similar niche to Galakrond Warrior, but against non-mage decks, it has a different matchup spread. Thanks to Odd Paladin's relentless token generation and buffs, it has a better matchup against defensive warlocks since it's more resistant to removal, but it has a worse matchup against Secret Mage because Arcane Flak Mage can consistently suppress Odd Paladin's upgraded hero power. Between these two aggressive decks, both are solid options for climbing, especially if your local meta is infested with mages. Last but certainly not 
not least in our breakdown, we have Darkest Hour Warlock. This Warlock deck also boasts a set of strong quest mage matchups, but operates on a different axis than Galakrond Warrior or Odd Paladin. When the Darkest Hour combo goes off, Warlock's overwhelming board of big minions is usually accompanied by Nerubian Unraveler, whose unique spell jamming ability tends to lock quest mages out of the game. On paper, the Darkest Hour combo seems oppressive against other decks too, but pulling the combo off consistently is easier said than done, and this deck's poor matchups against aggro decks like Even Shaman and Quest Mage keep it from running out of control. Still, Darkest Hour is among the scariest decks in Wild, so be sure to keep it on your radar. The Wild meta has coalesced around a mage after Galakrond's Awakening, but the class is far from invincible. Open the Waygate's rougher matchups are gaining more and more traction, so we're seeing the meta stabilize around them. Even so, with the recent announcements of possible unnerfs and the next expansion all on the horizon, the meta isn't going to be this stable for long. We're keeping our fingers on the pulse of the format, so be sure to check out the full meta report for all the details, and as always, be sure to subscribe to this channel to stay up to date with our Wild Hearthstone content. Thanks for watching. Yeah.